utensils and their capacity. Mummy, looks like it's going to rain today. At school, ma'am had explained that we should always try to collect rainwater. Mishtu, your ma'am is right. If we store rainwater, we will not face water scarcity for the entire year. Mishtu, but can you tell me how will you collect rainwater? Hmm, whenever it rains, water collected on the roof of our house comes down through the pipes. I will collect that water with the help of this glass to fill our water tank. Mishtu dear, but in that case you will need a vessel which has more capacity than this glass. Mummy, please explain what is this capacity. See Mishtu, the capacity of any vessel is exactly how much of anything we can fill it with. Uh, how is that? Come on, let me explain it to you. See, I will pour water in this jug. In this glass. And in this mug. The amount of water that can fill each of these vessels respectively is called its capacity. So, is this the way to know the capacity of any vessel? Yes, Mishtu. So, come on. Let us know more about the capacity of vessels. And we will understand how different vessels have different capacities. So, which vessels and their capacities are we going to find today, Mishtu? Today, we will find the capacity of this glass, mug, jug and this bucket. Mummy, what are these two buckets of water for? Mishtu, we will use this water to find the capacity of all these vessels. How is that possible? First of all, I will fill this glass completely with water. Now, the amount of water in this glass is its capacity. Yes, I understood. Now with the help of this glass, I will fill this mug. One glass and one more, that is two glasses. Mishtu, we can fill this mug with two glasses of water. This shows that the capacity of this mug is equal to two glasses of water. Now with the help of the same glass, we will fill this jug with water. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The jug is completely filled. Yes. So the capacity of this jug is equal to six glasses of water. Mummy, can we fill the jug with the mug of water? Yes. See, one, two, and three mugs. So the capacity of this jug is equal to three mugs of water. Mummy, now to fill this bucket, how many glasses of water would be required? Come on. Let's pour and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30 oh. to fill this bucket completely we have to pour 30 glasses of water in it so the capacity of this bucket is equal to 30 glasses of water so come on let's fill the bucket using a mug 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 mugs of water filled up the whole bucket completely the capacity of this bucket is equal to 15 mugs of water come on let's try filling this bucket with this jug 1 2 3 4 5 the whole bucket got filled with just 5 jugs of water. This means the capacity of this bucket is equal to 5 jugs of water. Great! Mishtu, now tell me which of these vessels has the greatest capacity? The bucket has the most capacity. And which vessel has the least capacity? Here the smallest vessel is the glass. So, the glass has the least capacity. Well done, Mishtu. Come on, let me show you something. What? Look, this jug is half filled with water. And the mug is completely filled. So, which of these two have more water? This mug has more water. Because this is completely filled. No, Mishtu. This jug has more water. How? First of all, tell me, what is the capacity of this jug? I mean, how many glasses of water can fill this jug? The capacity of this jug is equal to 6 glasses. So, this jug has filled with water is equal to how many glasses of water? Mm, it is equal to 3 glasses. Now, tell me, what is the capacity of this mug? That means how many glasses of water can fill this mug? The capacity of this mug is equal to 2 glasses. So tell me now, which has more water? A half filled jug or a mug which is fully filled? This half filled jug has 3 glasses of water and fully filled mug has 2 glasses. So here the jug has more water than mug. Well done, Mishtu. Hey, Mummy, look, it has started raining. Mishtu, just tell me which vessel should we use to collect rainwater? We should collect it in this bucket because the bucket has the highest capacity. And with the help of this bucket, it will be possible to fill the tank much faster. <laughs> well said. Yes, so children, today along with Mishtu we understood the capacity of vessels and we also understood that different vessels have different capacity. In the next video, we will understand why the vessels fills up on putting objects in half-filled containers. Utensils and their capacity Mishtu, what are you doing with water? All these vessels are half full. I am trying to fill them completely without adding more water. And how? See, as soon as I dropped 10 marbles in vessel half full with water, the vessel got completely filled with water. Mishtu, why did the water raise as soon as we dropped the marbles in the vessel? Hmm. That's what I cannot understand. Come on, I will explain. So today, we will understand on how water level rises 
in a vessel when we drop objects in that. Mishtu, when we drop the marbles in a vessel half filled with water, the marbles sink to the bottom of the vessel and gets collected there due to their weight and as a result the water comes up. Yes, I understood. When marbles are dropped in the water, each marble moves the water upwards due to its weight. That brings the water upwards and the water level rises. Well said, Mishtu. Now put these pieces of wood in another vessel half filled with water. Yes, let me see. Hey, what is this? Why did the water not come up when we dropped in the wooden pieces? Because the weight of these pieces of wood is less than or equal to the weight of water in the vessel. So these pieces did not sink in the bottom of the vessel. Okay, this is why the water did not come up. Yes. Come on, Mishtu. Now let's drop these potatoes in the third vessel. Oh, wow! The water level in the vessel raised as soon as we dropped potatoes in it. Hmm, so we saw that when we dropped any object in water, due to the weight of that object, the water moves upwards. Yes, I understood. Mishtu, can you get me a glass of water? If you don't mind. Yes, I will get it. But this glass is not full. Oh no, mother. Look, the glass is full. <laughs> On adding ice cubes, the glass got filled completely. <laughs> Friends, today we learned that why a half-filled vessel gets full when we drop objects in it. In the next video, we will understand the patterns of objects around us.